I am going to be very angry in this video. I apologize if you don't like it when I do this about politics, but this is rather personal. He is coming. Cover your butt. So DACA has been on a lot of people's minds lately, mine included. I have made it very clear where my opinion on this falls, and for me, this issue is very black and white. I gotta give it to you, that at least you admit that you are oversimplifying this issue. Which, if nothing else, lets us know exactly what to expect for the rest of this video. Illegal aliens should be deported. Period. And yes, that includes all of these dreamers. And so the oversimplification begins. If you are a dreamer or a DACA recipient, then you have applied to be one. Which means that you have been given permission by the government to be in this country, making you, by the very definition, legally in this country country. According to the U.S. Citizens and Immigration Services, an individual who has received deferred action is authorized by the DHS to be present in the United States and is therefore considered by the DHS to be lawfully present during the period deferred action is in effect. Internalized misogyny will continue to incorrectly call DACA recipients illegals in order to redefine terms so that they better fit her worldview. Barack Obama pushed DACA through, even though he knew, as a policy, it broke our own immigration laws. This is how lawmaking works. For example, in a very current event, we have many states in the U.S. who are legalizing marijuana even though it is federally illegal. Which means that we now have many states in the U.S. who are breaking U.S. law. Would you, internalized misogyny, advocate for people to go to prison because they are smoking weed? Only because they break the law and regardless of the morality of such a law. It was allowed to stay in place for years, and now we have 800,000 DACA recipients currently living in our country, working jobs in our country, and even being given free college tuition in some cases. Oh my goodness, the horror of people working jobs and being educated! What a fucking travesty! As far as I'm concerned, as soon as you become a legal citizen, you're as much of an American as I am. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Which is why DACA pisses me off so much, and why our government's lax approach to enforcing our immigration laws makes me sick to my stomach. We have legal immigrants in this country who proved their commitment to America by taking the long, arduous process of going through all the legal channels. And their dedication is being undermined by our government handing a bunch of illegals things that these legal citizens worked for years to get. Fuck you. You don't get to speak for me. As one of these legal immigrants who came to this country through the arduous process of having a work permit, a green card, and eventually citizenship, fuck you. I do not feel like my efforts have been trampled on because other people had to work a little bit less than me to get the same thing. Not just that, you're not even right about the process. DACA recipients have to work just as hard as I did to become a U.S. citizen. They have to keep their noses clean. They can have no criminal records. They must have a job. Something, by the way, I didn't even have to do was to have a job. In many ways, a lot of these DACA recipients are working harder than I ever did to become a U.S. citizen. So fuck you for telling me how I should feel about the hard work that I had to put in. Maybe next time, before you open your mouth about a subject, you should try to learn a little bit about it. 
I would strongly suggest that maybe you either talk to a DACA recipient or an immigrant who might actually enlighten you on the process by which one becomes a U.S. citizen.